I'm, I'm based on the island of Bonaire in the Dutch Caribbean. And uh, that picture was taken during um, uh, um, an event, which is, the, uh, which is called Reef Fiesta. It's kind of a very particular event that occurs every year during the, the, the ocean day, so the 8th of June. And that was the previous year, so ah. that, uh, of course. And um, is, uh, <clears throat> uh, is during the, um, the ocean day, uh, sorry, the reef fiesta, uh, while all the, where all the uh, volunteers and uh, uh, the divers uh, that are involved in the coral restoration project are participating in order to uh, help to maintain, to do the maintenance of the um, artificial coral trees that are um, in the in the nurseries of of the of of the coral restoration restoration project. So, what is the coral restoration project? is is a very successful project that is ongoing on Bonaire since ten years, from ten years, uh, even more, and. Um, they are, I mean, it's a, it's a scientific team that is trying to success, successfully trying to um, um, make the propagation of fragments of particular corals, like the hellcorn corals and the staghorn corals which are the shallow corals, like are the, the, the branch corals, hard corals that are living in the shallow part, in the shallow waters of Bonaire. And uh, because they were uh, disappearing for natural causes and, for, and from, from uh, human impact, like constructions, coastal constructions and, uh, very heavy human impact. Um, something had had to be has to be done, and uh, so the Reef Renewal Foundation Bonaire uh, started this project uh, in order to restore the 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 natural the natural environment by helping the corals, taking fragments from the natural. Uh, patches and uh, so little pieces of coral and then nurse them in, in, um, in the artificial coral trees uh, which are the ones are uh, depicted in the picture yeah, um, yeah. and then after, after these fragments are grown uh, after six months four months six months in the, it depends on the species uh, they are outplanted, so they are positioned in the natural environment mm -hmm. uh, and uh, let them grow. So yeah. they, 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 they nurse them and then they take them from the nursery and they outplant uh, these coral fragments in, the, um, uh, in those areas where it needed to restore the coral and wow. after five years they grow yeah naturally that's, that's yeah beautiful that's beautiful that's an yeah. important so, project yeah it's a very important and it's very su uh, successful and um yeah uh in the picture is uh, shown uh, is represented like a uh, three three um scientific divers working on the uh, on the coral tree mm -hmm. and uh, specifically they were collecting or harvesting the, the the little fragments after six months so those fragments in the picture were ready to be outplanted so they were harvesting um, this these little fragments and uh, and and then quickly they they have to be they have to be outplanted in another place of course on the water yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. so my work as a photographer i i live on bonaire i'm italian but i live on bonaire since uh, from 10 years okay um, 
and uh, I work as a underwater conservation photographer, conservationist photographer. It's a very new <laughs> thing. Well, <laughs> lately it became kind of a title for photographers who works uh, following conservation issues. Um, and Bonaire uh, offers a lot of projects to follow. So Bonaire was the first ever marine park, marine reserve uh, in the world. So in the 60s was, uh, how do you say, um, named uh, as, a, as a marine park. Mm -hmm. And um, so it has to be an example. And um, is uh, there are marine park authorities here and there are many sci scientists um, working on conservation projects like the coral reef, the mangroves, the restoration, the lionfish invasive uh, eradication, uh, and many others like turtles. And so, and my work is uh, following these projects, uh, try to do beautiful pictures and to raise awareness. So my, my aim is to raise awareness. Exactly. So that, that was my next question. Like why, why do, the, do you think that photography is so important? Like why do you think it's so important to, to take photos of these, these programs yeah. that people are doing? Yeah. So yes, it's very, uh, I think that photography is a very powerful uh, tool uh, to be used in order to rise um, awareness, uh, to show how beautiful, how dramatic, how terrible, how big, how small, and everything about the nature. So in this case, in, in, I mean, in, in, in this um, era, uh, historically, we, we have to, I think that we are, as a photographer, I have to go a little bit out from showing what is the beauty of everything in nature, but I have to show the drama that is that is suffering and uh, all the conservation issues. And but through very visually impactful photography, I think I can reach uh, I can reach. Uh, the the viewers the people so uh, we always say that through the eyes we can reach the soul of the people so through good pictures we can send messages so my aim uh, lately is to tell stories uh, visual stories uh, throughout a series of pictures and uh, write articles and um, yeah, and publish in magazines. So I've been published lately uh, on, on many international magazines. Uh, I reached just a week ago the New York Times with a oh, conservation wow. story. Mm -hmm. So that's a great just just uh, the same day probably that I <laughs> that I received the message oh, uh, that I won. The, and I'm very honored that I I I won a contest. Uh, well, in a category. Uh, that it that that talks about uh, conservation because this yeah. is my my work. I'm also such an, important, such an important thing that you're doing. Yes, yeah, it is. Uh, it is very important. I'm 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 just waiting uh, uh, the a good news to be uh, selected, and I hopefully I was selected in the ILCP uh, International League Conservation Photographers, which wow. is um, an elite of photographers that tells about, that, that talks about conservation. Mm -hmm. So this is my work. <laughs> Amazing, very, very beautiful. Yeah, and this is also the reason why we, for us it's so important to have this photo competition because, you know, at earth.org we, uh, want to raise awareness about the issues uh, of modern world, uh, what is going on in the environment, how humans are having a major impact on every aspect of our planet and how we are destroying it and how precious our planet is as well. Um, and as much as we love to do that with words, we 
also recognize the power of photography. And that's why we have this photo competition. And for us, it's very important and very um, meaningful to receive all these submissions. We received almost 500 submissions this year and last year as well. Oh. And uh, it's just beautiful to see, I mean, beautiful and also <laughs> worrisome to see how we are destroying the, the environment, right? But at the same time, photography can have such a major impact. So yeah, it's, uh, it's something that we- That's very true. Yeah. Something yes, like I'm, I'm, I'm really work. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm putting all my effort to into this conservation photography, because I think that now is very, very important. And especially with the, the social medias, we can have a lot of impact, a lot of, we can send messages to people and sometimes people doesn't know. So there is, I, I understand that what for me is very uh, natural to know. I mean, uh, I, I live on an island, on Caribbean island. I go in the water every day. I, I deal with uh, with these issues and I deal with sea turtles, with animals, with, with nature uh, in general every day. But so everything, it comes natural for me. But then when I send the picture out and I receive comments and I see what's the feedback from You're the viewers, from, the from the public, I understand that people doesn't know what are the mangroves, for example. And, and, and people doesn't know that corals can be um, reared and can be, can be, you know, uh, can be done kind of a coral gardening for, uh, for helping uh, the reefs. And uh, for me, it's normal. So I deal every day with that. But then I see that, okay, I have to go a little bit back and, and try to make it easier. And the easiest way probably is through beautiful picture. So uh, the, the, the effort is to make a very, very impactful, like people has to stop more than 10 seconds to watch your picture, otherwise to look at the picture, otherwise you're out. Because nowadays there are incredible photographers and the imagery, they just, people just crawled with the thumb. We are so used to, right? We are bombarded with thoughts. Exactly. So everything. I, when I, when I see somebody that stops and then, and then write a comment, oh, what a beautiful means that means something like yes. you, you yes. catch that attention for a moment and probably, yeah, it's, it's, it's a weapon. It's, it's a tool. It's a, uh, it's something really, really nice. Absolutely. <laughs> because I think your, your, your photos are, of course, like beautiful to see, very aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. But the important thing is to start a conversation, right, with the viewers and move them in some way, raise awareness yeah. about the issue. So it's uh, it's good that your photos can do that for sure. Thank you. <laughs> um, just uh, one last question, out of curiosity: Were you always interested sure. in in nature and this kind of work, or did yes. this part? Yeah. Okay. No, it's a long, long love story. I mean, I started since I was a kid, so I, I, I can track all my my path since then. Uh, when I was a kid, I was I was just uh, in love with the ocean and with shells, and then I wanted to be uh, 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 like a malacologist uh, the, who studies of shells but then I became a marine biologist of course and uh, the same the same even uh, during the same period uh, well before I, I started to dive thanks to my father so I, I started scuba diving when I was eight years old okay very young. And uh, even before, probably, <laughs> just to uh, breathe <laughs> from a tank. And um, so for me, it was, was natural to, to go on the water. I did basically everything, all the works, also commercial diving and instructor. Um, and, um, and when I became marine biologist, I, I wanted to, I, I came across um a documentarist that was working with uh, Jacques Cousteau and um which is Italian mm -hmm. and I started to help him I was younger and I became his assistant so I I built up my career and while I was uh 
trying to to finish my university i i i started already to work for the television as a camera underwater cameraman and um for for all the main programs in italy mm -hmm. and um and then when i when i came here on bonaire i um i was already a professional videographer ca uh, cameraman and photography was just a passion but then here on the island i was kind of alone i didn't have all the productions the, the shoulders uh, uh, covered by the productions television productions so it was difficult to produce and to to work again in the in the documentary mm -hmm. uh, field and i started a new path which was photography uh, professionally which is much easier alone uh, to work with and uh, of course <laughs> you just take pictures and you yeah. don't need any producer don't need you don't need any yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah and then I was uh, pointed out from National Geographic and one day and then they said okay beautiful pictures beautiful everything but where's the story and then I said oh right where's the story so I started to to redo everything <laughs> every single subject I I said okay now I have to go out and create a story and um and so I I started to create visual stories um, um and now I'm doing this mm -hmm.